imagine this is one continuous hoop. We basically have a steering wheel. And the resistance now is the turning torque. And that it resistance that you feel through the steering wheel is directly proportional, thanks to caster, to the forces at the contact patch. Because the contact patch trails the steering axis, because the steering axis is not vertical, it's actually laid back, you've got a little bit of leverage there, just basically with the contact patch acting against the steering axis. And so the resistance you feel is the amount of cornering force under the two front contact patches. And that's important because as you turn the steering wheel, the forces build, 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 but then they turn and they start to go away when you reach the limit. That's basically the top of the mu slip curve or the edges of the friction circle. So your ability to relax your grip and determine that point of peak resistance. Because remember, if you have a lot of tension here in your forearm, there's no way you're gonna tell one point on the mu slip curve from the other. You've got all excess tension in your forearm blocking out the differences in force. And so if you've got a death grip on the steering wheel and you're trying to feel increases and decreases in resistance, there's no way. But if you can relax your grip and use leverage against various points of the grip on the steering wheel. Now you can relax your grip and all of a sudden the cornering limit seems to light up like a neon sign in your brain because you're turning, turning, turning and all of a sudden, boom, it starts to go away and then you back up. Inside this bucket, <laughs> is, I don't know, what is this, over a gallon of fluid. I don't know what fluid it is, but it's heavy. And I've got a, a hose here set up. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna straighten the hose so you can see the principle involved here, okay? When I lift this up and I'm holding it here, I have a fair amount of tension here in my forearm. And the reason why is because I'm relying on the friction between the inside surface of my hand and this relatively smooth surface to hold it up. Now, if I were to relax my grip, the thing would slide in my hand. Well, just happen to have a pair of vice grips set up here that if I clamp this here and now I lift it, okay, and you'll see if I relax my grip, now all of a sudden I have a relaxed grip and I can still maintain control. Control being the ability for me to put this where I want. Now, there is this difference in grip tension involved here where if I were to take this, this yum yum fluid here and set it in here, Obviously, if I've got, God, I hope I don't drop that yum yum, but if I've got a fair amount of tension here in my forearm, you can see that I could probably take this out and drop it back in, and I won't be able to tell exactly when this fluid is added. But if I go back to our example, now with very little grip tension, I can determine when that fluid does indeed go in the bucket. Now, whether or not you're using that yum yum or a mini yum yum, if, if I'm relying primarily on the friction between my hand and the hose now to hold that thing up, I've got a lot of tension on there. I won't be able to tell the big one from the small one when it goes in there because I've got a strain in my muscle. But if I can relax my grip by using leverage, that being the leverage of my hand against this vice grip, then I can detect when that goes in there. 
And the more you can relax your grip, the better you are able to determine small changes in the resistance. And that's the whole secret. And that demonstration there is really showing you the difference between a high signal to noise ratio and a low signal to noise ratio. In other words, if the noise in my arm, the tension in my arm is so great, I'm unable to tell the signal, the amount of weight difference in there. And whereas obviously if I'm using leverage and I've got a relaxed grip now, now I can feel that. So the signal to noise ratio has improved. And that's how persona grips work.